Welcome Design Hackers. Anyone like me who's been in this group for a while has seen this same question uh, about a million times now. And I've shot some videos on it before, but they've kind of got lost along the way. So I just wanted to shoot one more video that hopefully once, uh, whenever somebody asks this question from now on, we can just give them this video and it'll answer all their questions. And so what the question is, of course, is you right click and you want to save an image and it turns out that it's a webby extension, W-E-B-P, did I see right over here? Oop, I got that spelled wrong over here, that should be a P, but they call this the webby extension, and as it says right here, this is in Chrome only. So what happens is Chrome decided that what they're gonna do is they're gonna take that image, they're gonna compress it down so that it loads faster on somebody's page. Well, when you go to try to save it, it saves it as that webby extension. So how can you get around that extension and make it into a JPEG, which is what you're normally gonna make it into, unless it's transparent, has a transparent background on it, then you wanna make that a PNG. Well, the first thing, because this is Chrome only, you can go into Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, if somebody's using Opera, um, you could be right there, go in there, you won't have that webby extension and you don't have to worry about it. So let me just go into Catherine's Automate Academy and when I originally hacked this site, so I don't know, year and a half, two years ago, whenever I got into the group, um, I was getting the same thing. I was getting the webby extension here and now whenever I click on it, I get it as a PNG, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, so I can't show you how to do the webby part here, but when you're saving an image, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can, of course, go here, save image as, as we just saw, or you can just grab it like this and pull it off and drop it onto your desktop. That's a second way of doing it. Or you can go, uh, as Catherine shows, go into the source code, come down, find your image, copy that image, right click, copy link address, and then open it up in another page right there. Or in the case of what I like to do, let's go back here, is I like to find the images in the inspector tool built right inside of Chrome. And if you're ever looking for a background image, especially something built in ClickFunnels, it's always right up here in the HTML header at the very top. And what I do is you find the address down here at the bottom, you come down and you right click again, copy link address, or we can go and find this one right here. So we right click on it, we say inspect, it'll open it up right there, you see the address, and all you gotta do then again is just right click and copy the link address, and let's just open this up in a new tab, pop that in there, paste and go, and it should come right up. Now again, let's see what happens here. Let's right click, save image as, and yeah, it's still showing as a PNG, but again, we could just take this and drag it over there into our desktop as well. So here what I did is I grabbed out that background image, and in this case here, it did give me the webby extension on it. So how can we turn this into a JPEG? Uh, and there's two, two very simple ways that I do it. Uh, first way we can do it is let me grab a hold of this link address, let's copy that. And we're gonna go into a tool I like to use. It's called Easy GIF. And you come up to the top here and you click on Webby at the top and we wanna go Webby to JPEG and uh, let that load up. And then we can do one of two things. We can either drag a file into it off of our desktop or out of our finder or wherever it is. So I can just grab a hold of this and pull it in and drop it right there. Or what I can do is I can take that URL that I already had and we will paste that into this address line. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull that in off of that URL. It's gonna give us a picture down here what the image looks like, and then we're gonna tell it we want it to convert. So once the image loads up, we just scroll down the page and we click on Convert to JPEG. Of course, you got different settings you can have in here. And then we'll scroll down and it converted it to a JPEG file. And then what you do here is you just grab a hold of this pull it off and just drop it onto your desktop, or I guess you could right click and save the image as, 
a JPEG in that case right there. Now, the next tool I'm going to show you, you're going to use a lot more often than this, but I showed you this tool on purpose because I used to use this all the time and I still use it a lot because not only can you do all kinds of conversions that you can't do in other places, you can also make GIFs in here. You can turn a video into a GIF. You can turn images into a GIF. You can resize, crop, do all kinds of different special effects and things on images, as you can see right up here as well. Once you load up your image, you can do all kinds of editing on it. And this tool is free, and I've used it for a couple of years, and I really, really like it a lot, so check it out. But then the third way of doing this is a Chrome extension called Save Image as Type. So we'll go and look at that. You just come into your uh, Chrome web store, you go to your extensions, and you just save image as type, and you download it. And then what happens is we have our image right here. Let's just go back to this one here. Well, no, let's stay here because this is the webby. So we right-click on it, and we come down, and it'll put in this thing right here into, your, into this dialog box. It says save image as type, and we just go save as JPEG. And then I think another box pops up. Yeah, okay. So box pops up, says we want to save this to the desktop, and we click on save. So that's it. A couple quick, simple ways. And like I said, everybody feel free that when the next time this question is asked, just drop this in there because I think I gave realistically the three easiest, best ways to solve this problem. So as always, if you got any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.